Inside Epson RC Plus from the main toolbar, click on the Vision Guide icon to open up Vision Guide. Select the white piece of paper on the left to create a new vision sequence. Go ahead and enter a name for your new sequence. Click OK. Now let's select a vision object to find our target. Our target is the center of the ring. We can do this by selecting on the new correlation object, clicking and dragging and dropping into the field of view. Let's go ahead and set our search windows to encompass the entire field of view. Now with the search window set, let's position our model window. When we teach our model, this is what's going to get recorded in the vision guide, and it's how we're going to accomplish our matching. We also can use the zoom feature. When we zoom in, we can get a more detailed look at our model area or our features of interest so that we can more precisely set our model window. Now that we have our model window set precisely around our target, we can go ahead and teach our object. And we're going to save that particular model to Vision Guide. Now the Run Object button becomes available. When we click on Run Object, we get a found result, our target. Let's go ahead and set our zoom back to fit to window. Now that we have a calibration vision sequence established, why don't we go ahead and create a new vision calibration? We can accomplish this by clicking on the toolbar icon, New Calibration, and then entering a name for the new calibration. Go ahead and click OK. Now that we have a new calibration, let's take a look at some of the more important properties here. The camera number, is extremely important. We have a one camera system. The camera orientation, this particular one, we're going to use a mobily mounted joint two camera. The reference type will be taught points, the robot velocity parameters we won't change. The robot local is zero in this case. If you're using a six axis robot, for example, you may have a different local that you want to provide. In our case, we do have a tool offset we're using, so we're going to select one. Our target sequence is the one that we just created. Let's go select it, Cal Cam Mob 1. We can keep the rest of the properties the same at this point. Let's go ahead and teach our points. At this point, the calibration wizard becomes active. You can use your jog buttons to align your tool to the calibration target. Here we have a vacuum tip that we're going to visually align to the center of our target. Again, we can use the jog buttons to align it correctly. Let's go ahead then and click Teach. And notice how the wizard tells us to jog the top left camera position. But first, we need to jog Z up. Get it up out of the way so you don't hit any obstructions. Then you can jog the XY buttons appropriately to the top left camera position so that your target is displayed at the top left camera position. So let's jog over. It's coming into the display area. Jog it a little bit over to the left. And when we get there, we're going to go ahead and click Teach. Let's go ahead and jog the top center camera position now. Let's go ahead and click Teach for this one. Let's jog the top right camera position. And note if your jog distance is too long, you can always go and adjust your jog distances as well. We're going to jog to the right center camera position now. Jog to the center. And note, we're going to actually go ahead and change the jog distance now so we can get it a little more precisely in the center. 
click teach. Let's go to the left center, changing the jog distance back to 10 millimeters per click. We'll teach this one. Now we'll jog to the bottom left camera position. Jog to the bottom center camera position. Let's go ahead and set the jog distance again to a medium setting. That means one millimeter per click so we can more precisely place our target where we need it. Click teach, jog to bottom right camera position. Back to long jog distance. And there we go. We're pretty close. Let's go back to medium. Get it right up into the corner. Note that we're far enough away from the search windows that we set earlier. Let's go ahead and click finish. And let's go ahead and click on calibrate. And when we go through the calibration process, this is done for us. Go ahead and click yes to robot will move during calibration. And note that it's going to run over to each of the positions that we trained. There's nine positions, and we'll go through them twice. When the calibration is complete, you'll get a dialog that shows you the millimeters per pixel, the max and average error, and the amount of tilt. You have now completed a vision guide calibration.